Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are in lesson 1, Relational Database Technology and Select Statement, part 2. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to execute arithmetic operators with SQL statement, defining null values, execute concatenation operation, describe the column aliases, and use the distinct keyword. In SQL statement, during the projection, you can also display a column with some mathematical operation. For example, what is the changes that you can see if all employees are added 300 to their salary? So, this is where arithmetic operators are needed, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If more than one operators appear in the same statement, hence precedent rules is needed which follow this rule. My dear, unsally, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Let's take a look at the example. Select last name, salary, salary plus 300 from employees. If you can see, the original salary for king is 24,000. After we add with 300, it will become 24,300. Now, what if we want to display the new salary of the employees after it has been increased by 15% of their original salary? Then the SQL would be select last name, salary, salary times 1.15 from employees. This is the result that you will get. Now, let's take a look at different examples with multiple operators. Select last name, salary, 12 times salary plus 100 from employees. If you take a look here, 12 times salary plus 100. Based on the precedence rule, 12 times salary will be executed first, followed by plus 100. That's the result that you will get. Let's take a look on the second SQL. Select last name, salary, 12 times parenthesis, salary plus 100. If we take a look here, parenthesis will override the order of precedence. Hence, salary plus 100 will be done first by your Oracle server, followed by times 12. If we take a look here, the operation is almost the same, but the order of operator execution by the Oracle server gave two different results to the user. In SQL, null is an interesting word. To understand null, you have to know what null is and what null is not. Null is a value that is unavailable, unassigned, unknown, or inapplicable. Null is not the same as zero or a space. In SQL, a zero is a number, and a space is a character. Let's take a look at the example. Select last name, salary, commission percentage from employees. Based on the result, King's commission is null. For your information, King is a president of a company. Since the president is not involved in any sales operation, the commission percentage column is unavailable to King. If we put zero, it indicates that the employee haven't made any sales. Hence, that's why null is much more suitable for king instead of zero. Let's move on to select last name, salary, commission percentage plus 100 from employees. If we take a look based on the result, commission percentage plus 100 for king is null. Why? Because of any arithmetic operation that involves null will return null. In previous section, if you look at the column header after arithmetic calculation, all the details of the calculation is shown in the table result. If you take a look here, salary times 1.15. The details of calculation is shown to the user. Supposedly, user doesn't need to know about this. So, how to hide the details of the column header? We can use column alias. Column alias rename a column heading. It is very useful with the calculations. Where to put the column alias? Immediately after the column name. You may have the optional as keyword between the column name and alias. It requires double quotation marks if the alias contains spaces or special characters or is case sensitive. 
Let's take a look at the example. Instead of showing the calculation, how can we show this revised salary column header to the user? Here's the SQL. Select last name, salary, salary times 1.15, revised salary from employees. If you take a look, the revised salary here is the column alias. For your information, the default column header is uppercase. Why do we put the underscore between revised and salary? Because column alias has to be in one word. Let's take a look at another example. Select last name, salary, salary times 1.15 as revised salary from employees. We add the keyword as over there, but the result is still the same. Why? Because the as keyword here is just optional. Let's take a look at another example. Based on the result, the revised salary now is in lower case and there's a space between revised and salary. How to do it? Let's find out. Select last name, salary, salary times 1.15 as double quotation mark, revised space salary from employees. If you take a look, if we use double quotation mark, Oracle Server will follow exactly what we specify inside it. If you use lowercase, then it will be lowercase. If you put any symbol, it will also follow that particular symbol. Let's move on to the next part. In our employees table, there are two columns for name. The first one is first name, the second one is last name. If I want to know the full name of the employees, I need to execute this SQL. Select first name, last name from employees. Then I will get this result. But it is in two different columns. What if I want to combine these columns to become only one column? Yes, we need to use concatenation operator. Concatenation means to connect or link together in a series. The symbol for concatenation is two vertical bars or sometimes we refer as pipes. Values on either side of concatenation operator are combined to make a single output column. The result of the combined column is always a character string. Let's take a look at the example. Select first name, last name, first name concatenation with last name as full name from employees. If we take a look, we will have three different columns being projected in the table result. First name, last name and full name. As we know, full name is the combination of first name and last name. But based on table result, it doesn't look nice, isn't it? Because supposedly, between first name and full name, there must be a space. How to add a space in the concatenation operator? Let's take a look. Like first name, last name, first name concatenation with space, concatenation with last name, as full name, from employees. That's how we do it. Adding a space over there means we add literal character strings with our concatenation operator. Actually, you can put any other characters inside those single quotation mark. For example, select last name, concatenation with is from department, concatenation with department ID from employees. That's the result. For example, King is the last name, is from department, is our literal character string, and 90 over there is coming from department ID. I forgot to highlight to you. In SQL, characters must be enclosed with a single quotation mark and it is case sensitive. It is different with SQL. SQL is not case sensitive. Let's take a look at next example. We want to display marketing department's manager is 200. Marketing is a department name. Department's manager is is our literal character string and 200 is our manager ID. How to do it? If we use the same method like what we did just now, the SQL cannot be executed because of the syntax error. Why? Oracle server will think that is the open for single quotation mark and this is the close. The other single quotation mark after a string has no close quotation tag. For this kind of case, we need to use alternative quote. Select department name concatenation with alternative quote 
we open the single quotation mark and we open the delimiter department's manager is we close the delimiter we close the single quotation mark concatenation with manager id as statement from departments and that's the result that we get it is exactly the same as our example output if you take a look closely inside the delimiter it can be any characters any symbols as long as it is inside the delimiter, Oracle Server will think that characters are just a normal characters and not giving any special meaning. Let's move on to the next part. Sometimes, the result that we get is repetitive. If we select Department ID from employees, since there are three employees in Department ID, the result is repeated three times. How to make sure if we select the department ID in employees, the result will be unique? Yes, we need to use this thing keyword. For example, select this thing department ID from employees. Since the distinct keyword is used for department ID, the repetitive data is removed from our result. It will just appear once. I guess that's all for now. See you again in the next chapter. Thank you.